I want to say a few words about the titles that you use for essays. And for a lot of students, the title uh, is something that you don't pay much attention to. It um, comes whenever it comes to you, and you put it on there, and off you go. But there is more to it than that. The point about the title is that it is the most important piece of your essay, because the title should give away everything that you are going to argue in the paper. So I want to say that the title equals your thesis or theme of your paper, right? Um, not the topic. So by the time I've read your title and your first paragraph, there should be uh, no more surprises in your paper. You should basically have given everything away. It's not uncommon for students to name their titles something like this, comparative essay, say number one, essay. None of these tell me anything about what you are arguing. And without the title to focus your reader, your reader is basically lost. So this is, you know, music. This is like the overture of a symphony where it lays out all of the major themes that are going to be uh, performed. Um, think of it as a keynote speaker for a conference. Um, the main point um, should be your title. And no matter where I am in your paper, I should always be able to link whatever it is you're arguing to your title. Now this makes sense in a general kind of way, but I want to show you by example here. Let's take a look at this little um, reading exercise. It says, a newspaper is better than a magazine, and on a seashore is a better place than a street. At first, it is better to run than to walk. Also, you may have to try several times. It takes some skill, but it's easy to learn. Even young children can enjoy it. Once successful, complications are minimal. Birds seldom get too close. One needs a lot of room. Rain soaks in very fast. Too many people doing the same thing can also cause problems. If there are no complications, it can be very peaceful. A rock will serve as an anchor. If things break loose from it, however, you will not get a second chance. So there's no particular argument here. It's not really an essay, but it is a topic. It's about something. And it's, unless you are already familiar with this exercise, it is a really difficult um, thing to determine what the hell is going on here because there are so many disjointed non sequitur. A non sequitur, actually I'm going to give you that term because it might come up in your paper. Non sequitur means does not follow logically from something. And so um, if I say to you, if this is Tuesday, I'm a hamburger. There's no connection between those two sentences at all. That's a non sequitur. And so once again, without a title, let's read through this and see if you can guess what this particular little paragraph is about. A newspaper is better than a magazine, and on a seashore is a better place than a street. At first, it is better to run than to walk. Also, you may have to try several times. It takes some skill, but it's easy to learn. Even young children can enjoy it. Once successful, complications are minimal. Birds seldom get too close. One needs lots of room. Rain soaks in very fast. Too many people doing the same thing can also cause problems. If there are no complications, it can be very peaceful. A rock will serve as an anchor. If things break loose from it, however, you will not get a second chance. Well, as it turns out, the title of this paper, this paragraph, is called Flying a Kite. 
And once you know that the title is flying a kite, everything makes sense. A newspaper is better than a magazine. Seashore is better than a street. You need to run to get it started. Um, it takes some skill, but it's easy. Children can do it. Birds seldom get too close to it. You need a bit of room. Too many people doing the same thing can cause problems. A rock will serve as an anchor. If it gets away from you, you never get a second chance. So now because of the title, this whole paragraph starts to come together. Now, as I say, there's no particular argument or thesis in this paragraph, but the title still gives us the topic. When I began this talk, I gave you what I think is a very crappy title because this tells you nothing about what I'm saying in this talk. It's a topic. It is about titles. But actually, the title should be something like Good Titles Reveal Nice typing, Peter. <laughs> I am so bad at typing. Uh, now that is a better title. Because once you've read this title, you know what my talk is about. Just as when you understand what this title is, you know what that paragraph is about. I hope this helps you titling your essays. You should know that it's the first thing that your reader sees, but it's the last thing that you write because you don't know what you've actually argued until everything is done. Good luck with getting good titles.